point. Now, I understand, like, the whole big issue of it. Continue the story and pick up the damn girl. Oh, that's a nice way to do Well, good thing, because I already have them, so you don't need to slang them to me. Um, see, at first, we, we came there for the killer of the girls. The killer of the girls was Georgie. But the bigger fish to fry was the crooked man. He was the bigger one. That he's the cause of it all. Now, that's kind of like... I was thinking about it. That's kind of like when she was explaining it. But when he was explaining it before, like, oh, you're going to get me in trouble for something I did or something like, you know? It, it I know this may sound stupid to you, but I was thinking about it like like kind of like, like Hitler. I don't know why. But like, you know, like... He told his officers to start killing, and they did it. And then Georgie's like, oh, it's not my fault. He told me to, but you still did it, so you're responsible. But so is the man that commanded you to do it is responsible. So it's 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 both ways. It's both ways. That's, that's the vibe I got, but that was after I had to think about it, because at first when I was playing it, I was just trying to figure out what to say to start whipping somebody's ass. And, uh... Like, I wanted to hear what the crooked man had to say, because that guy is overly polite. Like, it bothers me. People that are super polite, even if they're, like, have horrible intentions, if they're super polite, it's so hard for me to be mean to people that are extremely polite. Like, I'm so used to dealing with assholes all the time, and people that are very rude, that I have no problem, like, shut the fuck up, and then slap them. But, like, you can be, you can say the exact same thing to me extremely polite and I will soften up like a baby kitten I don't know why I guess it's because it's the way I was raised that if people are polite to you you're nice to them I don't know that's just how I was that's how I am but like I didn't notice until after I talked to Georgie that I'm like yeah you're right Georgie I need to go get this motherfucker because I was already like like mesmerized by how polite this dude was that I was like, nah, Georgie, you gotta come with me because you're the one who pulled the trigger. Even though he told you to shoot, you pulled the trigger. And then I had to snap out of uh, my trance and be like, nah, motherfucker, he's gotta go down too. Huh. Huh. And I feel bad that they sent Toad to the farm. I feel bad about that, especially since I told him that I wasn't gonna let Snow do it. Because even though Toad was a pain in the ass, I actually kind of like Toad. Um, I know I like Toad more than Collins. And Collins kind of annoying. Even though Toad's an asshole, at least he's not fucking mooching off you. Sleeping in your house and shit. I don't know, man. And just like I explained before, like I was going to put the crooked man in jail until he turned on me. He didn't give me enough time. If he wouldn't have tried to choke my ass, I wouldn't have thrown him down that well. But it looked like he was trying to throw me down the well. Like, have me in the headlock and throw me down it. So I was like, nah, babe, I gotta return the favor. <laughs> throw him down the well. But, like, I always think about, like, stuff like with, like, Batman. I know it's funny, I'm comparing Batman and Hitler to the Wolf of Mother. <laughs> but, like, Batman always get, has all this trouble because he never takes care of the villains, even though that's what he's against. He's totally against that. But, like, imagine all the people you'd save if you just get rid of this fucking guy. You know what I mean? Like, you put him in jail, they're gonna get out, and they're gonna kill more people. But it's like, you sacrifice this one guy to save hundreds of people, I guess. I don't know. That's how I view it. I, I don't know. This goes against everything. I don't know, man. Half of that shit was just off impulse, though. Like, I didn't have time to think. I'm not a very good, quick decision maker. I have to ponder things and think about it for a bit before I make big decisions. And it just sucks that they give you, like, a time limit to make your decisions. Drives me crazy, because I be, because, like, I totally, like, sometimes regret the shit right after, because I think about it like, fuck, I shouldn't have did that. But that's what makes these games so great. You got to make those morale decisions on the fly, man. And it's funny because it always seems to get me in trouble because people be fucking fussing at the decisions I make. But it makes no sense because it's my game I'm playing. If you don't like the decisions I'm making, you pay 25 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever and buy this shit and play it yourself and make the decisions you want to play. Like the decisions you want to do. That's, that's what never understood. Never made any sense to me. 
Like, just play it yourself if you don't like my decisions. But I really enjoyed this. This is the second time that Telltale has gotten me really interested into something that they made a game for. Now, The Walking Dead, I did not watch The Walking Dead before. I didn't read the comic books. I was actually not very interested in it because I don't watch a lot of television. But after I played the game, I was like this. I was like, if the game is like the show, then I want to watch the show. I started watching the show. Then I started reading the comic books. So, and same thing with this. I had no idea this shit existed. And I played the first episode and I was like, wow, this is actually really interesting. And I looked it up and found the comic books, started reading those. So... I'm actually pretty far in the comic books now. Um, it's weird how different it is. It's kind of weird, especially how Bigby be rocking them banana hammocks. That boy be walking around in his drawers all the time in the comic book. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. It's just kind of sad to see it come to an end, especially since it's been a, a you know a reoccurring playthrough over the past like six or so months. It's just sad to see that it's finally over now. Next month is. I think, what is it, episode four or five of The Walking Dead? I don't know. I think it's four. I can't remember, but you know, I think next month The Walking Dead comes out. We're going to see how that goes. And I guess we're going to look forward to more they create with The Wolf Among Us. Uh, also, Telltale is working on a Borderlands one, too, and a, uh, a uh, Game of Thrones. Um, I'll probably play both of them. Game of Thrones will probably get me to start watching Game of Thrones. I don't know. A lot of people tell me it's good. I just, just like I explained before, I don't really have time to watch television. So I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to encourage people to play it. Definitely. Um, I have a couple of friends that got this during the Steam sale, and they played through a couple of the episodes. I think one, I think my, uh, my friend DMR, he played. Uh, uh, I think the first two episodes, and he he was absolutely loving it. Um, Brain called me like two days ago. And was like, man, you know when the next part coming out? Like he always calls me right before it comes out. He never calls me. Like man, such perfect ass timing. Let's look at the book of fables real quick, since I'm just kind of sitting here rambling. Yeah, see, looking stuff like this locked up. This makes me wants to go back, and like play those parts so I can unlock that stuff so I think I might do that go back and see what's popping off on these things isn't this Bigby's mom right or is that his pops yeah that is his mom Bigby's mom winter fell in love with the north wind and bore him bore seven wolf cubs but he quickly grew tired of her and left winter that's fucked up heartbroken and alone she tried to care for her cubs despite her grief she was especially fond of Bigby but as the run of the litter he was, often teased by his older brothers. Now that's the big bad wolf. Eight foot tall wolf. Big Beast's true form is that of a giant eight foot tall wolf. In addition to his iconic huff and puff power, he has also inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. For example, Bigby is able to hold his breath for an abnormally long amount of time, making it impossible for him to drown. That's kind of funny. So the North Wind can hold <laughs> hold his breath? Mary's loyalty. Look, she looks all sad. Fuck her. Crooked man Mary centuries ago has promised freedom as she pleased as long as he agreed to act as his personal bodyguard and hitman. Crooked Man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about getting caught by the authority. She enjoys her job immensely and would defend the Crooked Man to the death, mostly because she finds it fun. Yeah, she had it coming. That that girl was crazy. Fable Town Justice, they just gather up like eight people and just be tossing people down witching wells. A new order. Snow White is now in charge. She's kind of bitchy in the uh, comic book. She's really, uh... She's really snarky and mean and, uh... Who's she, who she married to? Prince Philip? That guy's an asshole. Uh, after fleeing the homelands, Bigby Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe with a fable colony quickly developing in the New World, Snow White and Feathered, Feathered Top. Tracked down the wolf and offered him passage to Fable Town. He agreed and Snow cut him a lycanthropy... What? Agreed and Snow cut him with a lycanthropy stained knife to give him the power to change into human form at will. Huh. We came sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole. King Cole! But because of his violent past, many fables did not trust him, and he was banned from ever setting foot on the farm. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of the community. 
that is true because Bigby Bigby is the perfect example of people changing yeah I don't know about that cut him with a lycanthropy I don't know how to lycanthropy I don't know how to say that stained knife to give him the power to change him. what kind of shit is that there you go fuck the Jersey Devil so yeah he's not yeah let's put him I don't give a fuck about the pudding pie uh, where is Faith? Where is she? Because... Yeah, what is up with her eyebrows? That's weird. Her eyebrows bother the shit out of me. Huh. Yeah, because I noticed that was a little weird about Nerissa, that Nerissa's eyebrows were crazy large. They don't look that big in her, you know, her profile right here. Because she had some big ass, well, I guess it's the same eyebrows. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I just noticed that right off the bat, her eyebrows were looking fucking weird. So, she could have been using a glamour. Auntie Greenleaf got a job. My point is, is the this motherfucker right here was a lone shark. He was fucking people over, giving them money, saying, you need me. This bitch. Fuck that guy. Um, with how things are going now, they have more than enough jobs open up for all these people. And I think it's ridiculous that they need these glamours to survive in the in like in the Mundy world, but the glamours are so expensive. So I think that's bullshit. That it's cost so damn much. But I'm sitting here rambling too damn much. I'm talking way too much. This game is awesome. Please, if you have not picked it up, please go ahead and grab it. This game is awesome. I highly recommend it. It was on sale during Steam for like eight dollars or something like that. I'm sure it'll probably come back during Christmas. So this would make a great Christmas present for people, especially people that enjoy fairy tales. Um, and try, I guess, try giving the comic books a chance too. They're pretty good too. But Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. And I will see you guys in the future. If you're... I was about to say, what the fuck am I talking about? Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you have a wonderful morning. I hope you have an awesome day, a great afternoon, a beautiful night. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.